Let's get more analysis. We're joined by the sports journalist Juliette Bawa, who watched and analysed every kick of this Africa Cup of Nations. She's joining us now for her take on the tournament. Juliette, thanks for being with us. Um, Senegal then, the best team won. Would you agree? Thank you very much, uh, Mark. Um, yes, I will agree. Indeed, the best team won on the day, and um, they gave it their all. And right from the start of the match, you could tell the intention and also the mission um, they were on. It was so emphatic. They got a penalty, like you mentioned, under five minutes, which, unfortunately, Sadio Mane missed that penalty. But Senegal kept piling on and missed some decent chances. Um, but in the end, they made up for all those losses with um, um, with what is now the very famous penalty shootout that would also mean they get to win their very first Africa Cup of Nations trophy in this competition's history. They had the most possession on the day. They had the most shot on targets on the day. And they dominated the game. You know, for Egypt, they are willing to sit back. They've done um, all, all through this tournament. They are willing to tie their opponents and also drag them to the penalty shootout. But Yesterday, their build-up to um, yesterday's final, that is Senegal, was very indicative of how they were going to fare. They had worked to get to that point, topping um, their group and also going ahead to win all um, knockout stages um, games. It wasn't a fierce campaign for Senegal. They were barely um, tested in that tournament. And bizarrely, like I mentioned a while ago, scoring just a single goal in the group stage, a last-minute money penalty in their um, opening game against um, Zimbabwe, and yet finishing top of their group. Then they had to um, overcome Cape Verde. They had to go through um, Equatorial Guinea. They had to play Burkina Faso to get to the final. While well, Egypt had a particularly um, tough run, but they sure had to um, get some firepower, and they had some firepower, and maybe a lot of it, the kind that you can only get the Terenga Lions way, and that manifested at the Olympus Stadium yesterday. Juliet, as we're talking, we're seeing the images coming live uh, from the airport uh, in Dakar, and a very big smile there from Sadio Mane. Um, he was speaking, we, we, we played the uh, little clip from him earlier, uh, talking about how he missed the penalty and how the players got behind him. I mean, it's nerve-wracking, isn't it? I mean, clearly, he must have the coolest head in African football to then sort of miss a penalty and then take the decisive penalty and put it away with uh, great style. That, that tells you about the mindset of the man, Sadio Mane. You know, after the match, I asked him how he felt when he missed that, and he said he was unsettled for um, that time. And um, during the match, he was unsettled, but he had to shrug it off. And he did that just um, by saying that, that his colleagues, rallying his colleagues to keep him going, and they had to tell him that, we are losing. If we lose, we're losing together. If we win, we're winning together. And they responded. They once again took the game to the Egyptians, giving us a scintillating final. And Mani is a talismanic core of the Senegalese team. He holds the fire. That gets the team going. And so you could understand what a sudden penalty miss under that five minutes of a crunch final meant um, to him and also the team. But as determined as they were, as determined as he was, the team responded positively and quickly got back into the group, settling things head on. And Mani himself didn't look like someone who had um, just missed a golden opportunity. He went in, missing a few chances, but ended up contributing to the overall success. During the penalty shootout, I had my eyes fixed on him on the pitch. He could barely, barely, barely watch um, his teammates go in there to kick the penalties. But... When he picked that ball to go and take that final kick, he knew exactly what he wanted to do. He knew the kind of weight that he was carrying. He had the whole country, the whole continent, if I should put it that way. It looks like everybody wanted to see Senegal win. And I hear what you're saying completely, Juliet. I noticed too, during the actual, as when he was taking that final kick, uh, Idrissa Ganagay turned away and he couldn't look either. So clearly there's a lot riding on it and we see that quite a bit. Um, let's just take a listen to Mane describing the importance of coach Ali Usise. Uh, take a listen to this. The Senegalese people have suffered a lot, but personally I dedicate this trophy to Aliou Sissé. You don't know what this man brought to Senegalese football, especially what he brought to us mentally. And when I say that I dedicate it to Aliou Sissé, believe me, this gentleman deserves everything. 
Juliet Aliusise. Is he going to be the man who guides Senegal to the next level, do you think? Remember, it was Pele who said back in the last century that an African team would win the World Cup before the end of the 20th century. Of course, it didn't happen, but one senses it's just a question of time. Is Aliusise going to be the man who guides Senegal, perhaps, to being that first African club to, to break through at that level? African, um, African country, sorry. Yeah, but um, for, for, for the man, Ali, I, I think um, this was always um, on the cards. Um, we saw that golden generation of Senegalese players come and go, including the coach, um, Ali Sisi. And years after he made his mark as a player under French coach, that is Bruno Mentor, during the 2002 um, World Cup, where the team also got to the quarterfinals. And he gets to once again write his name in solid gold for the Taranga Lions. The thing with Ali Sisi has to be the level of engineering that he has been able to achieve with this team. These are fairly old and also young players um, per national team criteria. And even though he wasn't your most favored coach, even halfway through the tournament, he still managed to get his look um, at me now in moment in the and, and that is what we are all doing. Everybody is talking about him. And behind um, the Senegal triumph that we all saw yesterday was also the support. Um, Ali Sisi had from some of his colleagues, that is El Haji Du. Um, you can talk about Khalidou Fadiga. You can talk about Alassane Indu. And so many of the players, you can tell a deliberate mindset to ensure that he succeeds. And even the trophy... Um, it kind of dragged because they had been there before. They had not won it. It took them um, to 2019. They didn't win it in the final. And he got all the bashing back home. They kept faith with him, allowing him to be in charge and also respecting um, him as well. When I spoke to Mani about him, he was full of praise and also suggesting that one of the many reasons why they wanted um, to win the Nations Cup as a team was for Ali Sisi. So pointing me to the criticisms that um, he's had to endure prior to the Africa Cup of Nations, and if you say that um, maybe an African team can win this tournament or Af an African team can win um, the World Cup, I believe that the African football has always been there. The continent is blessed to have talents who are able to compete anywhere in the world. We have seen this over and over again in the world football dominance order, and there's always an African script in there. So that statement by Pele still holds a lot of potential and may happen um, before we all know it. Um, there are huge issues of um, talent development, financing, also infrastructure, and technical know-how, which um, continue to be addressed by those concerned. And I'm confident that when we are able to get these things right, we will be able to draw closer to that dream. We all saw what Senegal did in 2002 at the World Cup. We saw what Ghana did in 2010 South Africa and World Cup. So much more lay in wait for us if we all do the right thing. So there's nothing better like um, having an African party, and we always are the life of the party, just like we're having a party now. And uh, when the World Cup um, trophy finally lands on the African soil, I'm sure the scenes will be grand and beautiful like you're seeing in Dakar at the moment. Indeed, I suspect that you might be there too to bring us uh, the full inside story as it happens. Juliet, thanks for being with us. Juliet Bauer, uh, who's uh, followed every uh, aspect of this Africa Cup of Nations and uh, shared it with her many, many followers uh, online and everywhere. Juliet, thank you very much for being with us. Uh, day off in thank Senegal. You. They may well call it Aliou Sisi, they might, mightn't they, or Sadio Mani Day, who knows. But uh, congratulations uh, to Juliet, congratulations to Senegal, and uh, thanks to uh, you all for watching too. What a fantastic tournament uh, that was.